G'day, Duga here. I'm just about to put a few finishing touches on a couple of sections of the yard. It's also Buddy's birthday today, so what a great time to take you for a bit of a look around our digs. Happy birthday, mate. Time to do a sprinkler run. Good, good timing on the sprinkle. Yeah, I should be able to quick get in and get that. Right, I nabbed him. You're mine now, sprinkler beast. I think it's high time I take you on a bit of a tour around a few sections that you haven't really seen. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of news to share with you too. Alright, better get up. I'll take you for a wander. Let's go. We've replaced the unsuitable ornamentals that were here when we moved in and turned this into a really native garden with Westringia, Grevilleas, Fireball Lily, native grasses, hibiscus, and a flame tree. This should be spectacular in a couple of years. Even the grafted grevilleas grow really, really well here and flower all year long. This pink version is one of my absolute favorites in the yard and quite spectacular when it's in full flower. The birds seem to love it. This little hedge here is a yesterday, today, tomorrow, after rain. It flowers in beautiful blue flowers that turn white over a course of a few days. But the smell and aroma that comes from this plant fills the neighbourhood with a really, really strong and beautiful perfume. This desert rose that I've got is a beautiful specimen and in the ideal sunny position. It's thriving here and just has these masses of beautiful flowers all year round. We've got a lovely big nature strip out here, so I tried to make some simple but very decorative gardens. I've got grevilleas, and then I've made smaller gardens full of these beautiful native and pigeon grasses. The flowers on these grasses at different times of year are just beautiful. This here is a little pink tababooya, a Townsel cherry blossom. This beautiful little ground based grevillea I've planted here next to a Queensland bottle tree. That's doing really, really well. So it's about time I'll let you know one of the big changes that I've been hinting at for a while has finally come around. And it's also one of the saddest things that I've had to do in 10 years of living here. As of right now, Duggar's Digs, my garden, is up for sale. <laughs> 